I literally woke up starving and I was craving hot meal so bad but like not the hot one the mush so we're gonna go and grab it and then we're gonna eat it because I'm hungry I don't know which one to pick do I want chocolate apple cinnamon or I think I want chocolate. Yes, I want chocolate. The things that I do when I'm craving something. Oh my God, I'm craving it so badly. Good morning. So I just came back from the store as you guys. So I woke up hungry and honestly, I woke up very anxious just because I was, I woke up and the first thing that I did was log into TikTok, like open the app. And that was not good because I got banned again for showing a piece of toast. But I am taking this, like at first I was very upset. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was very upset. But honestly, if I think about it, maybe that's kind of like the universe telling me, girly, you have an unhealthy relationship with TikTok. It's not social media as a whole, it's TikTok. You get upset about not getting views and you let it ruin your day. It's just like when you, when I used to wake myself every day and I used to get upset and let it ruin my life, just like a freaking number. It's the same with TikTok. It's just, oh my God, I didn't get enough views on this video or uh, this didn't get enough, enough engagement or comparing with other creators. And I'm just like, maybe this is the sign that I needed just to take a break, take a step back from it and just think about clearly because you're exhausting yourself every single day and you need to stop it right there and focus on what's important, which is your life, which is creating the content that you like instead of comparing, instead of being too cough on freaking numbers because they do not matter at all. Anyways, I went and grabbed this because I, I need it. I, I, I don't know, I was craving it. So I'm just gonna have it for breakfast. It's so good guys, if you have not tried this, so good. And I was specifically craving the chocolate one. I'm gonna make a pretty simple breakfast and talk to you in the meantime because why not why not i literally have no idea how to show you and at the same time do the things so i'm honoring my cravings and i am having the mush with yogurt and with berries and i'm also gonna add some pistachios so right now what i'm doing is that I am tracking, yes I am, to make sure that I eat enough because I tend to not eat enough ever, but I track like almost at the end of the night and then I eat more if I need to or if I'm hungry, I just eat more. But I don't let it control my life. I'm trying to make like a range and not, I need to keep going, and not be just very, how do I explain it, like rigid which is what I need to stop doing. Just not being rigid and just allowing myself to have those margins of error. Because in the past, I'll be like, I, I need to, and I have to get all my macros to zero. And that's the mentality that we don't want anymore. And that I'm working with my coach on removing all of that. But like right now, I haven't tracked this at all. I'm just hungry and I need like a quick, breakfast, a snack, whatever, just food in my stomach before lifting. Oh my God. So I'm gonna have this just because I crave it and because I want it. And afterwards, I just track it on the app and see what's going on. But the good thing is that because I have been tracking for a long time, kind of have an idea of how much should I be eating for each meal, kind of. So for example, I know that this is like carb, this is protein, this is also carb, um, and I need a little bit more fat. So why not the pistachios, you know? So I haven't tracked this, I have no idea. I just 
eat it and then see where it takes me. This is so good, you guys. I didn't mix it before, but oh my God. I wanna make it like a little bit pretty, but this is a pretty cool breakfast idea and also to go if you need to. Uh, yeah, and with TikTok, I'm kind of, like I need to fix my relationship with TikTok because I feel and it comes with the fact that I'm always trying to do more and more and more and more and more and that never is enough and I'm just very, how do I say it? Like I'm a perfectionist and I'm also very hard on myself. Like I, I do enough, but I just don't, <laughs> don't, I'm looking for a knife, I'm sorry. I don't give myself enough credit. I don't, I don't. I just always think that my content is awful, whatever, like it's, it's just me and my head and my ego. And I need to stop doing that because I'm exhausting myself and it's not worth it. I'm just gonna eat this. I feel like, I don't know if I wanna do blueberries or the whole container of blackberries because they're gonna go bad. I think I'm just gonna do the whole container of blackberries because they're gonna go bad and leave the blueberries for later. And I love when it comes with like the package like this. Oh my God, because I can just wash it. Like this. Um, I tend to under eat quite a lot. Like I tend to be scared of portion sizes too. I need to challenge that and I know that. But whenever, like I in the past, a portion of rice that I thought that it was okay, it was not okay. <laughs> it was way too small. And when I actually started to weigh my food, that's when I realized, oh my God, I'm under eating by so much. That's how I started to eat more, by weighing the thing and seeing the reality. And I didn't have a dietitian to help me with that. I didn't have someone to help me with that. That would be a lot easier, <laughs> but I didn't have anyone. So weighing my food, yes, it gave me like the obsession of weighing and tracking, but it helped my body physically to gain weight and to beat some fear foods in my mind that were just insane like it was it was insane i was just i don't know i'm i'm kind of grateful that i started tracking macros because it did help me it did help my recovery and might not help you um but it did help me and this is all a process and i'm not rush i'm just taking my, t my time because it's it's my life you know, it's my life and I'm, I'm pretty happy right now with what, with what I'm doing. And I know for sure that if I wasn't tracking, I wouldn't be eating the amount that I am. So it helps me. That's all. We're gonna go and eat this yummy bowl. It looks so good. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have like a journaling playlist now, which is gonna be on my Spotify. Someone just came home. I don't know who that is because it's not time. For someone to come home anyways we're just gonna try this and we're gonna journal and we're gonna put my playlist probably need to put some music on the background because if not i will get copyright which is not cool but i'm gonna link my spotify on my on my thinking whatever okay hmm <laughs> Please try this, please do. Danny, how perfectionist are you? I just ripped off this page because it wasn't pretty from my journal. Nobody's going to watch it, just me, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I used to do that all the time when I was in school and it would be like a whole ass page of me writing and then i'll be like okay in the beginning my my writing was good and then i messed up i don't like how it looks after rip off and just do it all over again so perfectionist
Hi guys, I came back from the gym. I'm starving, literally starving. It's 1.20, so I'm gonna make lunch right now. I don't know what to make. It's gonna be something super quick because I'm starving. Guys, I'm literally so freaking hungry. I'm just gonna make something very quick. I actually was thinking of going out to eat, but I just bought a microphone for the podcast and I need to save some money. Also, this is like sticky. I need to save money because the microphone was a little bit expensive. <sighs> and we have a lot of food right now. I'm gonna make frozen rice, frozen vegetables, eggs. And yeah, I'm sorry about not making the best recipe. I'm just so hungry. So, we have olive oil in there. Now I'm just gonna bun this. Now that it's kind of cooked, kind of, I'm gonna add my eggs. And now just mix it in. Eating when you're hungry is actually, must be like one of the best pleasures of life. When you're hungry and you eat something, it's it's like when you want to go to the restroom and you go to the restroom or when you are very sleepy and you go and sleep and lay in your bed the best feeling okay and since i just came back from the gym i'm gonna add a little bit of egg whites it's about two egg whites so it's two eggs and two egg whites we want a little bit more protein for the muscle to recover. This looks like very non-appetizing at all. But as long as it tastes good, I don't care. Guys, I'm also gonna use ketchup because I freaking love ketchup. Okay, I know it could be better with hot sauce, but not really. Like maybe for you, but let me know in the comments. Do you like more hot sauce or ketchup? For me, ketchup, all the way. I wish you could guys see this. It's so big. Maybe my eyes were bigger. No, my appetite was bigger. My eyes were bigger than my stomach. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still gonna eat it. Like, I'm still gonna eat it. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna eat it. But it's huge. <laughs> but I'm happy about that because I'm, I'm hungry. I'm literally starving. I freaking love everything on this plate. It doesn't have lots of colors, but I don't really care. Look at this. I love when this happens because it, it has like oil, like oily taste. I love that. In Colombia, we call it pega, but it's way much more than just that. And it's so good. So freaking good. When that happens with the rice, amazing, 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 amazing. The best. Mm. I also run out of uh, everything but the bagel seasoning so I'm just gonna do salt and pepper anyways that's gonna be my easy lunch it's a big bowl of rice eggs and frozen vegetables literally took me like I don't know like 10 minutes I'm just gonna eat this and I'm probably gonna start editing Let's go. Okay, and for YouTube, I for YouTube, I chose a video about healing your relationship with money. I don't know, guys, since I've been recovering more and just my brain working better and everything, I just I don't know, I have many other interests, interests lately and it just makes me so happy. I don't feel the need to make my food perfect anymore. I don't like I was about I was literally about to go out and eat something because I was so hungry but I bought the microphone but I, I don't have this scary thoughts and I'm just so happy <laughs> to not have them or I don't have the I don't know the desire to go back ever I don't know how to explain it but the fears have been just fading away the more than you the more that 
the more that you challenge the fears, the more they stop coming. And it's it's just amazing how this works and it, I'm just very happy. Mm -hmm. Forgot to tell you that I saw one of you today at the gym and that just made me so happy. Thank you for coming and saying hi. <laughs> I know you watch my videos, so thank you. You literally made my day. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna watch. Are spending money. You guys have traveling and I was spending money for the first time, like a substantial amount of money. I just remember being so anxious throughout the entire trip and I don't know, I just feel like, again, when watching spirituality YouTube videos, you may have some level of privilege that allows you to sit down and think about these things, right? And you may be one- Update, I, I didn't underestimate. I didn't overestimate my appetite. I was clear, clearly hungry. I got all done and now I'm gonna continue to edit. I really want to, I'm taking this as an opportunity to really work on my YouTube because I don't have to post on TikTok. I never have to post on TikTok. That's the mindset that I need to have from now on. But yeah, I'm just gonna work right now. So yeah, that that's all. <laughs> you guys, my battery died and it's about uh, three o'clock and I got hungry so I made a bowl with apple yogurt and chocolate chip granola and i'm actually gonna read i'm still reading the same book i'm taking my time okay guys um yeah and i like reading outside so that's what i'm gonna do but i hate the lighting outside so i'm gonna I'm not gonna record that um but yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now hi guys here i am again with another snack. I was gonna go upstairs, but then I remember that my mom told me not to do that because if I don't want any, how do you say hormiga? Hormiga in English. I, I don't have the word in my mouth right now. I can't remember. I literally can't remember. And my hair is super messy, so I put this. Okay, for my snack, I got protein powder this is pea science protein powder i was gonna have yogurt but i'm like damn it i have yogurt like a lot and i already had a lot of yogurt and if i keep eating a lot of yogurt i'm just gonna be very uh, i'm just gonna spend my night in the bathroom so i can't do that so we have in here vegan protein powder and i just mix it up with some almond milk and it's like a like a little dip yeah and then i was craving crunchy curls so i'm having that with peanut butter and with blueberries i told you that i was gonna eat blueberries uh -huh. that's all i like having crunchy curls with peanut butter actually Hi guys, um, I have been literally sleeping and doing nothing the whole afternoon. I just feel so tired. I feel so, so tired today. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna make some dinner. I already put some air fryer potatoes. I put Japanese potato on the air fryer. And I don't know, maybe I'll do some tuna. Today was definitely just a lazy day of eating, just doing simple meals because I literally don't want to cook today. And sometimes it's like that. I was productive. I finished the YouTube video, but I'm so tired. I'm just going to watch probably like a movie with my mom and I will show you my dinner and my snack, of course, but um, yeah, I think that will be all for today. Day. <laughs> I really think so because I'm exhausted. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Mm, yeah. Bye.